I recently discovered Care Of and I am so excited to be collaborating with them today. Care Of is a personalized, high quality supplement subscription service. It can be really difficult to decide which supplements to take based on your health goals, but Care Of makes it really easy. I headed over to Care Of's website and took a quick quiz, which asked me questions about my health history and my health goals. And based on the answers, Care Of chose the best supplements. I've been using my personalized Care Of routine for the past month and a half. Here is my daily personalized pack. I'm amazed by how the ingredients are really high quality, science backed, and very clean. These packs make it really easy to stay on track. The packaging is made out of compostable plant-based films. I also love this matcha collagen. It is such a treat to just have in a nice mindful tea. I've definitely noticed that my skin is looking super hydrated. So go ahead and take care of quiz and see what supplements, vitamins, and powders they recommend for you. Click on the link below and use my code SEMITACOCO, all caps, for 50% off your first order with Kara. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Well, what brings you into office today? Yes, I today I just feel is uh, my left ear is uh, so hurting. Mm -hmm. So I just want to s let you see and what's happened. Mm -hmm. Of course, you can take a look. Can you describe to me the pain that you're feeling in your left ear? Yeah, it's uh, my left he ear is uh, just like uh, fully painful, mm -hmm. like uh, something of pressure inside. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Mm. So the whole ear hurts. Yes. Mm, okay. It's not like a deep pain inside. No. It's more, okay, that makes sense. Have you ever had this before? Yes, it's uh, just one year ago I had a middle ear infection. Mm -hmm. In that time it's like a deep hurt. Yes. Yeah, not like this time. Okay, I hear. And was that also your left ear? In that time is it right ear. Right okay. Yeah. Do you have a fever by any chance? No. No fever? Yeah. I can check that too. Have you had a cold or flu recently? No. Okay. Uh, do you swim? Yes, is uh, I just begin my swim is uh, one month ago. Okay. Almost every day then I go to swim. Almost every day? Very yeah. nice. Um, have you been on an airplane recently? No. No. What about scuba diving? Do you do any diving? No, I don't do it. Okay. Do you smoke? No. Uh, do you take any recreational drugs? No. Do you drink any alcohol? Yes, yeah, sometimes maybe one week or two week one time. How many glasses do you drink? Not so much, it's like uh, maybe one. One glass, okay. Alright. Okay, well, do you have anything you'd like to, anything else you'd like to add? Like, um, have you had any accidents to your head or your ear recently? No. Okay. Did you notice anything come outside of your ear, like, blood or any kind of fluids? No. Okay. Are you able to hear me clearly on both sides? Yeah, yes, I can hear. Yeah, on the yeah. left side too, yeah. can you hear yeah. me? Yeah. Okay. So no issues with your hearing? 
No, Did your skin is no problem. Okay. Okay, well, why don't I start by just taking your vitals. I'll check your temperature, blood pressure, okay. pulse, and respiration rate, mm -hmm. breathing. And then we'll go ahead and take a look at both of your ears. Okay. okay. Can you please raise your arm and pump your fist ten times? Just raise it all the way. Thank you. Thank you. Good. So your blood pressure was 132 over 88. So it does seem a little bit high, mm. but I know you have a history of high blood pressure, so mm. this is kind of normal for you. Okay. So I'm not concerned about that. Mm. Um, your temperature is a little high as well. It's 37.8 degrees Celsius which suggests a mild fever. So there could be some sort of infection going on. Mm -hmm. Now, I also noticed that your heart rate 
and your breathing rate are mm. both bo both in the normal range so those are totally fine um, I am concerned about that mild fever but I will take a closer look at your ear now okay so I'm going to start with your unaffected ear which is your right okay. ear Alright, so let's look at the right ear first. Any pain at all when I touch no. you? What about when I do this? It don't hurt. Okay. Any pain back here? No. What about down here? No. Okay. Any pain in the front here? No. Your lymph nodes as well. Uh, nothing swollen. That's a good sign. Okay. All right. I'm just gonna look at the outside of the ear, see if there's any kind of issue, like a. Any dermatitis or furuncles or any discharge fluids coming out? I don't see anything, so that's good. Okay. And let me take a closer look here. Okay. So just looking at the external ear canal, I don't notice any issues here? There's no serum and wax at all, which is a little bit concerning. Um, do you clean your ears at all? Yes. What do you use to clean your ears? Uh, cotton swab. When do you do it every day? Yeah, of, yeah, it's after showering. Yeah, and I do it. Do you go deep inside or just? Sometimes I go deep. For both of your ears? Yeah. All right, well, let's take a close, deeper look in here. Okay, I'm just trying to visualize the tympanic membrane. Uh, it's translucent, pearly gray in color. There is some vascularity and a little bit of scarring at the top there, which makes me think if this is the ear where you had the middle ear infection before, yeah. right? Yeah. So that makes sense that there's a little bit of scarring, but there's no um, effusion in the back, no, no fluid build up, and I'm able to see the cone of light just fine at around 5 o'clock, and all the ossicles are visible, so that's good. Don't see any perforations in the dramatic membrane. That's great. I want to go in a bit deeper, so I'm just going to rest my hand here. Okay. And I don't see any erythema in the inner ear canal. Again, that mild vascularity, but nothing of concern. Okay. So this ear looks great. Mm -hmm. Um. I am a little worried about there not being much earwax serum in because, mm. you know, earwax is actually very important for cleaning the ears. Naturally, your ears will clean themselves. You don't actually need to use any kind of cotton swab to clean the ears. Mm. In fact, I would not recommend it because the what the earwax does is it actually helps to make your ear canal more acidic which then keeps it free of infection, like bacteria or fungal infections. Mm -hmm. And it also helps to sweep out any dirt or debris via the, the little epithelial cells and the hair cells. They kind of sweep them out. So your, your ear knows how to clean itself. Mm -hmm. So I would do my best, do your best not to clean it unless you have a lot of earwax in there. In which case, I will teach you how to do it shortly. Um, 
but yes it's I think it's important to have your ear build up just the right amount of earwax to okay. help clean it okay. okay so let me go ahead and take a look at the other ear now okay. all right so let's look at the painful ear here mm -hmm. okay so let's just feel those lymph nodes this one feels swollen does that hurt Yes, okay. Back here. That's, that, that seems fine. Paratonsillar. These lymph nodes seem fine. Posterior circle. Okay. Press on the tragus here. Does that hurt? Yeah, it does hurt. Okay, what about this now? Oh, it's hurt. That really hurts. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let me take a look at your mastoid. Okay. Any pain back here? No. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So. The external ear itself seems just fine. I don't see any wrinkles, any dermatitis, eczema, anything like that. But when I take a closer look at the canal itself, there seems to be some discharge that's blocking it. I can't quite go deeper. Okay, so I'm noticing some white fluid that's blocking your ear and I can't okay. see it as well as I would like so I'm going to clean it a little bit, okay? okay? So the way I like to clean this ear is I like to use just a suction tip and I'm just going to pull out some of that okay. mucus yeah. so I'm going to place my otoscope inside just like this so I can look at what I'm doing and then place the tip of this suction right inside like that and I'm just gonna seem to be coming out. Let me try again. Use a cotton swab mm. and this is going to be very gentle. I'm just going to fluff out the cotton a little bit so it doesn't irritate your ear because mm. we, your ear canal right now is very, very sensitive. Mm. It has some damage, what we call trauma, and okay. we have to be very careful not to damage it further. So I'm just going to use this. Cotton swab, okay. Try to get some of that mucus out. it out but not all of it mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a little hydrogen peroxide solution 
this I think is one of the best ways to soften up because mm -hmm. it's the the mucus is a little bit hard and thick right now so I'm just going to soften it up a little bit Hopefully that just helps it to mm. soften up a bit. So now let's give it another try, okay? Alright. Okay, great. It seems to have all come out. So now I can take a deeper, closer look. How are you doing? Yes, good. Good, okay, great. Oh, wait. I seem to have gotten some on the outside of your ears. I'm just going to clean that up for you, okay? swollen and it is quite red, quite erythematous and don't see any like wrinkles or any raised areas. It's just all over kind of swollen and there's still a bit of white mucus in the back but I'm still able to see it clearly. I'm gonna go a bit deeper to check the middle ear. We go deeper, we can see that there is no perforations to the tyrannic membrane. It is translucent, pearly gray in color. All the ossicles are visible. The cone of light is at around 7 o'clock, which is good. Uh, slightly vascular, but again, no perforations. No effusion behind the tympanic membrane, so that is good. So the good news is you don't have a middle ear infection, but mm -hmm. the not so good news is that you appear to have an infection of your external ear, which makes sense why you're having so mm -hmm. much pain. Um, I want to check a few more things to see mm. what the impact has been for you. Can I do a hearing okay. test? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the hearing test. Okay. Do you hear it on mm. both sides equally or on left side first or right side first? Oh, yeah, I can hear it equally. Okay, good. Okay, so now let's do the Renee test. Can you hear the sound? Yeah, I can hear. Tell me when you stop hearing the sound, okay? Do you hear it? Yeah. Let me know when you stop hearing the sound and just close your eyes for me too. Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, so let me do your other side. Okay, so same thing. Close your eyes, please. Can you hear that sound? Yes. 
Let me know when you stop hearing it. Can you hear this? Yes. So now I'm going to test cranial nerve 5, which is trigeminal nerve. I want you to close your eyes. Let me know if you feel sharp or dull. So this is how dull feels like. This is dull. And this is sharp. This is sharp. Okay. So let me know if you feel sharp or dull and point to where you feel it. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Is it dull? It's here. Good. The shop is here. Okay. Is it dull? Is here. Good. Is the shop is here. Okay. Is shop is here. Top is here. Okay. This shop is here. Okay. This top is here. Okay. This top is here. Good. And that's it. This shop is here. Perfect. Perfect. Now I want you to clench your teeth like this. Clench it for me. Very tight. Good. Okay. And then up here, clench your teeth again. Very good. And now I want you to um, push your jaw like this to the side. Mm -hmm. Very good. Other side. Don't let me move it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So no issues with cranial nerve 5. It's very good. Okay. So I'm just going to check your throat as well since, you know, the throat and the ear tends to be connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check your nose. So I just want to check in there. No issues there. Discharge or everything like there. Good. Can I take a look at your mouth? Say ah. Uh. Uh. Say ah again. Uh. Okay, you feel the midline. No discharge in the pharynx. Check uh. your teeth as well. Mm. No gingivitis, no signs of cavities. Put your tongue up, tongue up. Okay, back down to the left side. Left side and right side. Okay, and just say ah uh, one more time. I'm gonna take your uh, check your tonsils. Ah. Uh, uh, no swelling of the tonsils. Good. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to ask also, do you use any headphones in your ears? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's uh, something I use it. Uh, do you use it on both ears or just one ear? Yeah, I just use the left. Only on the left, left side? Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so based on our findings, it looks like you have a condition called otitis externa, which means external ear infection. It's not mm. a middle ear infection, hasn't gone that deep, so it's not makes sense you didn't have a cold or flu that moved into the middle ear. Mm. Instead, your ear is strictly on the 
external ear that's closer to the outside. Um, so I tend to see this a lot in my patients who are swimmers. Mm -hmm. When you swim, there tends to be water that goes into your ears and it causes a really moist environment, a really damp environment. That kind of damp environment can allow bacteria to fester and cause an infection. Mm -hmm. So it's important that you try to dry out your ears as much as possible. So I would recommend not swimming until your ear infection gets better because you want to really make sure that your ear is okay. dry. Um, I noticed that there is no earwax, cerumen in either of the ears. That's concerning to me, but it is common in a swimmer. For swimmers, the water tends to kind of flush out the ears and take out any of that cerumen, mm. which is actually very protective. Like I said, it creates an acidic environment. And so my treatment for you today is actually to use a 2% acetic acid otic treatment mm -hmm. and so what that does is it creates an acidic environment to help reduce the amount of bacteria from okay. proliferating and it looks like to me it's a bacterial infection bacterial infections are much more common than fungal mm -hmm. about 9 out of 10 cases are bacterial and it seems to be acute which is a good thing very short mm -hmm not chronic, we never want it to be chronic. So what I'm gonna have you do is take this, you're gonna put four or five drops into your ear mm -hmm. three times a day, okay. okay? Morning, around lunchtime, and then in the evening. Okay. I want you to keep it in your ear, so you wanna lie down on uh, your right side, wait. Lie down, yeah. Yeah. Lie down on your right side, keep your left ear up, yeah. and make sure that solution soaks in at least one minute, preferably okay. up to five minutes. Let that soak in, mm -hmm. um, and that will help. And I don't recommend a topical antibiotic or um, a topical steroid right now because you're still in the early stages. Mm -hmm. I really believe that just the acetic acid solution can help you kick off this infection. Okay. It will take maybe anywhere from three to five days for the infection to go away. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't help, then please come back to me and we will look at other options mm -hmm. like antibiotics or uh, topical steroids. So I'm going to apply this for you. I'm just mm. going to lie your head back like that, okay? And I'm just going to put about three drops in there. One, two, three. Okay. And you're going to leave that in there for about a minute. And hopefully that helps to reduce the swelling, the redness, and the fever goes away. Um, yeah, so just leave that in. No more cotton swabs inside the ear, okay? Only use it on the outer part of your ear. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean off a little bit. Clean it off. Also, don't use your headphones because the headphones can keep the ear very moist. It doesn't allow it to dry out. So actually, sometimes what I recommend patients do is use a hair dryer on a low setting and just kind of dry out the ear a little bit. You just take the hair dryer and just okay. on a very low setting, the lowest setting, just help to dry out the ear, maybe let it come down a little bit and just air it out. and try to allow it to stay dry, okay? Okay, okay that's good. Perfect. Yes. So I will leave this solution with you. You can take yes. that. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I will check in with you after about five days to see okay. how your ear is doing. Okay. And just let me know at any time if you have any concerns, you can just call me, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yes. Take care.